on 10th Street, and I'm proud of my town, I always was and always will be. I dedicated my whole life to stick there since I was in high school. I went to high school right here. I have three years of high school. I left in my senior years along uh, along uh, side of a lot of other guys that went to the church. I went to the United States Navy. I went to fight for my country. I was in the Pacific for 17 months. I served aboard a destroyer. And if you could die that tablet on Main Street, look at that World War II tablet, and uh, look at the World War I tablet and the Korean tablet. Most of those guys on a World War II tablet graduated right from this school in Pittsburgh. And I'm very proud to know that and have them. Uh, they're all my friends, Rick. I know just about everyone that's on that tablet. In our school, we had a, I went to 7th grade, we had three fours on that school down. We had three fours on it. We had the big two. When we had fire drills, we pulled down the two to the side of the building. Third floor, second floor, first floor. That's our, that was our stage for fire. That was our building, 7th and 8th. I went to grade school up on the hill where the bird building is located right now. And uh, that was years ago. In fact, I started up there in 1932. I was here during Hoover's time, you can believe it. Okay. That was a long time. Okay. And uh, uh, like I said, I'm still uh, uh, I'm a president of the Pittsburgh Citizens Association. I'm on a board of directors of Arts and Parks and Recreation. I managed the Little League team for 19 years. From 1950 to 1969, I umpired for 30 years in this area. I umpired in Murrowville, Wolverine, Colonel Kick, I umpired Mercury Eastern Baseball. I was act always active in my community. I never said too much while this was going on about our little town. I'll tell you what, you can go to any school in Valley, any great school or high school, if they can find a building that's stronger built than this, I want to see it. I remember that building we had across the street, that great school. They had that bounce and ball, they knocked the building over with them. That ball was bouncing off that building. That's how well built that building was. This building is more or less the same way. It's a beautiful school. A lot of people come out of the school. A lot of doctors, lawyers, you, you name it, out of the high school. In fact, we took people in from, it was it was, it was in Marovo in the 1950s, uh, up to the 1950s. It was called Patton Township. That was a township. And we fell asleep in 1950. We should have, uh, if we'd have had any brains at that time, our council fell asleep. We could have, uh, we could have, uh, well, put a lot of that ground over out towards the country. In other words, yes, yeah, right. Right, this side is pretty good. We had, uh, we had a chance to do that because we had our own power plant here. We started to power for six years. We had our own power for uh, Patton Township. We had kids from Patton Township coming to this school. They didn't have any stores out in uh, Patton Township that time. They did all their grocery shopping here in Pittsburgh. That's how far back it was. We had the Hans come here, the Ripple, uh, the Backison. Uh, uh, came, there's about 10 times I can name off The listeners, they came from Merle. Merle only had one school, went to 8th grade, right up in the top of the road stress. That was an 8th grade school. That was it. After 8th grade, the kids came here, some came to Pittsburgh, and some went to Wormany. But most of them come to Pittsburgh because they liked this school better. See? That's why I say it hurts to see them closing at school. And, uh, you know, those people who voted have to have the school closed. I just wonder if they had children going to the school if they would have voted that way. Well, I can say to them, I'm sorry, we didn't, we didn't merge with the traffic. Pet, pet traffic. That's what we did to merge with. If I had my way, we did that. I'm sorry, we merged with the boys and girls. We merged with the boys and girls. We did the boys and girls. Bon, <laughs> 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 
to have everyone look down at us. Right. Be surprised when we accomplish something. Yeah. Yeah. But to insult us with a with a study that basically said we'd be better off if our children went to school with people not like them. Yeah. That to have the National Guard called out at our meeting when we protested like we were going to come with pitchforks and torches. And yeah. then to be to be insulted even further by being complimented on how well behaved we were when we protested. We all know what that's like. But they don't know what we have. They don't know that we have a sense of community. Central to that sense of community is this school. They don't know that we learn things in the streets and from our parents and from our peers and from things that they can't teach us in a textbook. And we learned them here and we learned them in this town. We learned patriotism from people like Frank Gallup. We learned... Yeah! We learned to respect the police. We learned to honor the firemen. We learned how to treat, you know, each other. We learned about bullies from older brothers. We didn't need a program. <laughs> we learned how to treat our girls from Italian fathers. <laughs> and now they want to take that away from us. So that just taking this building is going to do it. It's still there. You young people, you have to understand. You got to keep that spirit in your heart. You're always from Pitcairn. No matter where you go, no matter how far you go, you're always from Pitcairn. Great. Lizzie is a student here at the school. She wants to say something. Relax.